everything that you are living is about your point of attraction because you live in an attraction based universe where law of attraction the law of attraction is responding to your point of attraction and your point of attraction is about your vibrational offering which is about what you're thinking about but you can break it down in much more simple terms by just understanding this very simple equation how you feel in any moment of time is the indicator of your point of attraction we have enjoyed this interaction <laughs> in and what that means is how you feel matters so much because how you feel is telling you everything that's important about what your mix of energies is and your mix of energies equals your point of attraction we are so eager about any point in time when those words will be profoundly meaningful to you because you're attracting all the time you are offering a vibrational frequency that law of attraction is responding to so what you're putting out you're getting back so earlier we said it's this mix of vibration that is you that's really what we want to focus on with you in these hours that we are together over this day and tomorrow because your mix of vibration which means your mix of thoughts and words but most important how you feel which is the indicator of your mix is so important because you can't attract around it you're going to attract exactly to it so we've been describing this to you in a number of different ways and most recently what we are saying to you is that as you are standing in any moment in time and you are remembering something or noticing something or anticipating something the combination of what your desire is about it and what your belief is about it is what equals your mix and so we want to bring you to the place of understanding the importance of figuring out how to feel satisfied now and that's why we always begin by saying by asking you are you knowing what you are wanting and how does that feel to you because if you have a desire that you're worried about you're not satisfied you're worried and they are very different frequencies the feeling of satisfaction will bring you everything you want and you must be wondering especially if you're new to this concept you must be wondering but Abraham if there are things that I want that haven't happened yet how in the world would you ask me to be satisfied about that which is unfinished how can I be satisfied when I don't have enough money or when I haven't met the person that I want to be with or 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 and this is the essence of what we want to talk with you about because you've got to be satisfied in order to be vibrationally ready for the evolution of your desire you've got to be satisfied now for more to come and if you are dissatisfied now oh, we're really hitting on the thing that trips you most up in your humanness and that is you are so enamored you are intoxicated with observing and contemplating and measuring and noting the details of your now manifestation so in these days that we are visiting we're going to demonstrate to you that your now reality is let's say over here in this full manifestation this is the gesture that we're going to be providing for Esther to translate to you in other words this is your now reality over here this is your now reality this is what is this is what you are manifesting because of what your output is right now we're having a manifested moment aren't we and it's really a fully blown 
manifested moment because you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch in this moment and we know you love this manifestation you love it so much and well you should because so much has come before that has provided this experience where you get to have this full manifestation this what feels so real 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 this is reality isn't it reality reality and we know how much reality means to you because you were born to create your own reality but we want you to understand that this creation of this reality it's a progressive thing and it's an energy flowing thing and it's an energy allowing thing and it's a combining of desires and beliefs and so if you are standing in your manifested now and you are taking score about where you are in terms of what's manifested so far the beautiful car isn't in your garage and the beautiful person isn't in your bed and the wonderful opportunity to spend money hasn't come yet because the money isn't in your bank account and so you're looking at that now and you feel dissatisfaction which we love you so much shuts it all right down because when you are feeling that dissatisfaction that means your predominant focus is on the absence of what you want and you can't get there from here you cannot get to where you want to be from a place of dissatisfaction we've been talking about this in stronger terms for a few weeks now and Esther has been really paying attention to any moment of dissatisfaction that she has and really laughing about it yesterday she was in the car with her daughter on her way to pick her granddaughter up from school and they came around a corner and there was a car just ahead of them and Tracy nearly lost her mind Esther thought she was going to run over things <laughs> because the car that was right in front of them said totally satisfied Tracy said, get a picture, get a picture, get a picture, get a picture. Esther said, don't kill us, don't kill us, don't kill us. <laughs> totally satisfied, totally satisfied. How can I be satisfied right now in the absence of what I'm wanting? Well, here's why. Because you can't get there from there otherwise. And here's how. You understand that you are a vibrational being in a vibrational universe and that you have the ability to focus yourself into alignment we know sometimes when we've encouraged you to think about what you want not about what you've got to think about where you're going not about where you are to try to find a feeling of satisfaction that many of you have found great confusion in that idea because you've been living in a world of we love you so much really mediocre creation because you've been relying on what your words will bring you or what your actions will bring you you haven't been experiencing the vibrational leverage of alignment not in its fullest so you are not yet a master at creation and you're not happy every step along the way and so when we say something to you like be happy anyway it makes you worry that if there is some sort of benevolent universe that somehow in this fairy tale that Abraham is spinning is giving me what I want then shouldn't I let this whatever it is know I need more <laughs> because other humans if I'm not squawking they're not oiling the squeaking wheel gets the oil in my manifested world and if I was satisfied when I was living with my mother she didn't produce as much for me as when I was needing and complaining and pleading a really good case I need it please I need it and I deserve it I am justifying it in this way and in this way and in this way and we want you to understand that that'll get you so much in your action oriented world but it won't get you very much and it won't get it for you very long and it will not be sustainable because where your manifestations come from is from this vibrational universe where you identify a desire and then you line up with it and then you allow the momentum of it to carry you to the full manifestation 
Now, we really want you to hear how this works because when you are standing in your physical experience and you are relying on your actions, on your behavior, on your words in order to, in a sense, sort of manipulate experience in order to bring you what you want, you're really missing the way this powerful universe works. And so in the hours that we are together, we want to bring it into full understanding for you because we want you to understand that with law of attraction synonymous to the law of attraction is the concept the word the theory the understanding of momentum because what law of attraction says that which is likened to itself is drawn so if you have a vibration active within you and you sustain it for a little while momentum will bring more like it and more like it and more like it and more like it until eventually there's a strong enough momentum that there is a manifestation. In other words, it becomes something that you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch. We want you to feel the importance of focus, but along with the importance of focus, we want you to understand the importance of your guidance which is your emotional center that will help you to understand really what it is that you are attracting in any moment in time. So you understand that and we know you do. It makes sense to you. And so you say, I'm not going to think about that anymore. Well, you are because you're thinking about that thing that you're not going to think about. And when you shout no at it, you're actually shouting yes at it because it is your attention to it that keeps it active in your experience. And we know, we understand why you may feel more comfortable with focusing upon the things that have already manifested as the strongest basis of your attention and focus. We get why you do that because there is a lot of momentum in that. Most humans would rather focus upon something that is negative that has a lot of momentum than something that is positive that has less momentum because somehow you've equated the momentum with something that's making it happen. And we want you to realize that when you're focusing upon something that has negative momentum, you are preventing anything that has positive momentum from coming into your experience. Every subject is really two subjects, wanted and absence of it. So when you get on some sort of a rant where you're pushing against someone, there is so much pushing against happening in your culture and in your environment today where so many things are pointed out that you might find fault with and push against. And as you push against those things, you hold yourself in discord to what you really want. So here's why. Before you came into this physical body, you were non-physical energy. What we really want you to hear from us and to try to remember all day, every day when you're reaching for that feeling of satisfaction is that the larger part of you still remains non-physically focused and satisfied. So if you are over here in this manifested world and you are letting what you see in this manifested world be mostly what you are looking at, then things can't change for you because what you look at causes you to offer a vibration about the same and then more like it comes into your experience. But meanwhile, you're asking for it to be different and it's becoming different vibrationally. You've created a whole world of much more prosperity and much more harmony and much more joy and much more satisfaction that you deprive yourself of when you face only or primarily the reality that has already become manifest you get what you think about whether you want it or not you are the creator by virtue of your thoughts so when we say you've got to find a way to feel more satisfied mostly that means you've got to look away from the things that have been bothering you so much and you say, well, I try to look away, but I get sucked back in. And we say, and that's because there's momentum. Law of attraction is your best friend and your worst enemy. It's only your friend. Someone said to Esther the other day, you know, law of attraction will bend over backwards to help you. And will also kick you in the... In other words... Law of attraction is responding to what you've got going on vibrationally. 